guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my luxury wish list for 2021. So before anything else, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If these are the kinds of videos that you like watching, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button down below and give me a follow on Instagram at TrishDLF. So this is my 2021 luxury wish list, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to be getting all these items in 2021. These are just my wish list items for the year, and I may or may not get these items, but these are the top items, or at least like my main priority for this year. If you guys have seen my bag collection for 2021, you would know that I don't really have slots for new bags right now because I still actually have to sell some off. So there's actually only one bag in this luxury wish list. Everything else in this wish list are accessories. So I have six items in this wish list and I'm going to be going in order of priority, number one being the item that I want most. So for my number one item, I really really want a Cartier Tank Solo Watch, either in the size small or the medium. I want this with a classic black leather strap and silver hardware. I was never really into watches before. All I have is this one, which was given by my dad like a few years ago, which is why this is the only watch that I only ever wear in all my videos. See, I was never really into watches, but I've been watching K-dramas and this K-drama actor, her name's Susie Bay, Bay Susie. Um, she was in Startup, and I saw her wearing the Cartier tank. I'm not sure if it's a solo or if it's just a regular tank, but, but it was in gold hardware, and then the strap was brown leather. So when I saw that on her, I knew that it was the Cartier tank. And I remember that there was actually this reality show star who would also always wear the Cartier tank solo. And I actually first saw this watch on her. Her name's Georgia Tofolo. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. And she was on Made in Chelsea. And I remember watching that show a lot back then, I think in college. And I really loved her fashion sense. And I followed her on Instagram way back then. She was one of the few stars on that show that I really followed on Instagram because her fashion sense was really nice. But I would always see that Cartier watch on her. Hers was the black with the silver hardware and it looked really good on her. So I started noticing that watch back in college but then it was only now because of the K-dramas that I noticed the watch. I think it wasn't only Susie who wore that watch because I feel like in every single K-drama that I watched there was a girl who was wearing a Cartier tank watch. So I don't know, I guess it's big in Korea or something, but yeah. Or I don't know if it's just my mind, like because I started liking the Cartier. It's like I could see it on every single actor and every single show that I watched. So yeah, basically after seeing it on Suzy, it's like I saw it in all the other shows that I was watching. So yeah, I would see it all the time and I really, really couldn't get it out of my head. So now I really want one. I've been wanting this watch, I think, since I started watching Startup last year. And I really have been wanting to get one. Actually, I've been looking at the watches since 2020. Like, Christmas, end of end of 2020, I was already going to the Cartier stores and looking at the watch, looking at the price and everything, because I really wanted it. But then I couldn't really justify it yet, because I'm the type of person who feels like she has to accomplish something first before getting something expensive. Last year, I didn't really feel like I deserved a new watch yet and it is an expensive watch so you don't just that's not the watch that you just buy randomly so yeah last year wasn't the time for me to get that watch but maybe this year hopefully um i want to be able to accomplish something first before rewarding myself with that watch because i want it to mean something to me i don't want it to be just like a random purchase so yeah, I'm waiting for the time when I can accomplish something good this year and maybe reward myself or maybe for my birthday this year, we don't know. So yeah, that's my number one item. Oh, and why I want the Cartier tank? I want it in the leather strap because I don't really have like a fancy dress watch. You could say that this watch is a fancy watch, but I wanted a leather strap watch. It's really different. The vibe that a leather strap watch gives is really different as compared to an all metal um, bracelet strap watch. So so yeah, that's why I really want it. Leather straps on watches look very refined, I would say. I really like that refined look when it comes to leather strap watches. So yeah, that's why I really want the Cartier Tank Solo. And I feel like it's a really good design. It's such a classic. And I really like things that have a good history to them. And the Cartier Tank does have a lot of history. So fingers crossed that I'm able to get it this year. Okay, item number two is the Louis Vuitton Mini Pochette. 
so this one, oh my god. Uh, I have been wanting this since last year as well. I have been going to all the Louis Vuitton stores. Well, there's only two. Is there? Greenbelt and Solaire. So I have been frequenting those two uh, stores, those two branches, since December. Or maybe even, no, yeah, since December, I think, or November. And they, they're always out. Well, to be fair, the mini pochette is really one of their like best-selling items. It's one of the lower-priced items that you can find in Louis Vuitton. And there's actually a lot of resellers who sell them. And I can actually easily buy one off of a reseller. But my train of thought is like, why would I buy from a reseller when I can get it in the store here for almost the same price. So I would normally buy from a reseller if it's something that's really, 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 really rare. Or if it were cheaper than to buy in store. Like for example, I think my Gucci Marmot before, I bought that from a reseller because she could get it brand new cheaper abroad. But for example, the Louis Vuitton mini pochette, it's basically the same price as when you get it from a reseller and if you get it from the store. So I'm just like, you know what, I'm just gonna wait until I'm able to find one in store. I've gone in the Louis Vuitton stores, both branches, maybe four times already, asking if they have the mini pochette. But to no avail, I think the last time that I went, I found an SA who could help me. She gave me her business card and she told me to message her on Viber. So she would let me know if there's already a stock so I could come there. Because she was like, so you don't have to keep on coming back. I guess she felt that I was always going back to the store and asking if they had the mini pochette. But yeah, so um, I messaged her on Viber. I think I went there, I think, like three weeks ago. So I followed up last week and there was none. There was still no mini pochette. And I haven't followed up a second time, but we'll see. The mini pochette that I want is either in the Dami Ebien or the regular Louis Vuitton monogram canvas. So I was telling the SA that I talked to, um, either of those two, if you get the stock, please let me know. I haven't gotten an update from her yet, but yeah. The year is long. Hopefully, one of these days, I finally get my hands on one. The third item that I want are new Chanel espadrilles. So I do have these plain black ones which I got I think like 3-4 years ago. And they're actually still very nice. When I got that pair, I wore them like every single day. Like wore them to death. And then I stopped wearing them for a while. And then now I started re-wearing them again. And I just remembered how comfortable they are. And then I went to Zara one time and I found these espadrilles. So these are Zara. And they're very reminiscent of the Chanel espadrilles, except they're in beige, they're the two-tone. And I thought that this was actually a really good buy because it's such a good dupe for the Chanel espadrilles. But I started wearing those Zara ones a lot and they, they're not as comfortable as the Chanel espadrilles, obviously, because like the Chanel ones are like all leather, this one's just like synthetic. And yeah, not as comfortable, they have the same look, but... Yeah, it's not as comfortable. So if I do have extra money at the end of the year or in the next year or something like that, I think a pair of the Chanel espadrilles is what I would buy. Okay, now for the next three items, these aren't really a priority. These are like, I'll only buy them if I find them at a really good price and if it will be easily available. So my item number four is a mini Fendi peekaboo. So I know I already have two peekaboos in the regular size but I've always felt that a mini peekaboo would really suit my lifestyle so much better especially after you guys have seen my Fendi peekaboo review. I feel like a mini peekaboo would be more of a match for my lifestyle but the thing is I'm not willing to buy the peekaboo at regular price brand new and I feel like even at discount price the mini peekaboo is still a little expensive so my rule for the fendi peekaboo is i will only buy it pre-loved and if it's at a really 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 good price so my budget for the mini peekaboo it would be around like 60k max i don't think i'm willing to go above that if i can get it for lower than that then great but it has to be in really really good condition for me to get it at 60k this item solely depends on if someone decides to let go of her bag and 
sell that at a really good price in the pre-loved market but if I don't find it in the pre-loved market then I will not be buying it. Okay item number five since we are already talking about Fendi I would also like a Fendi strap. So the Fendi straps were so in back in the day. Fendi makes really really good design straps and we all know how expensive they are. A Fendi bag strap is like 50,000 plus brand new. And I do have bag straps for my peekaboos which I've shown you guys in previous videos but you know it's different if it's Fendi <laughs> and I really like my collection of bag straps right now and I got them at really really good prices very decent prices but I think I also want an actual Fendi bag strap just for the sake of it just to complete my collection I guess because Fendi bag straps are really pretty I don't really have a specific design in mind I'm very flexible when it comes to the design that I want but I'm leaning towards their classic brown strap with just their F FF logo all over it. So that one's just like a regular canvas bag strap with their FF logo and it's color brown. But yeah, I'm really flexible when it comes to that. If I see something better than that at a good price, then I might go for that. But yeah, for this bag strap, because it's so expensive brand new, this is something that I would also prefer to buy pre-love. Unless one of these days these online websites go on sale and have like the bag straps for like 50% or 60% off then maybe that's when I would buy it brand new. But if it won't be discounted as heavily, then I probably would prefer to go pre-love. Okay, so last item in this list is a Chanel card holder or compact wallet. I would really like the envelope type card holder, not the zip type, or the compact wallet that they have. I actually also have been looking for this since last year, and I have actually been messaging um, the resellers or the... Or the personal shoppers abroad because there is a specific color that I want for this item I'm actually willing to go brand new because the colors that I want are really hard to find and I don't think I'll be able to get those pre-love and the nice colors usually run out really quick in store abroad so when it comes to personal shoppers it's actually really hard to find the color that you want the colors that I was really trying to find last year from the personal shoppers were the purple the Tiffany blue or like this other light blue but I think the purple is the one that I really really wanted but I think it was a color that was released in 2019 or early 2020 but I only started looking for that color like late 2020 so I had such a hard time looking for it because even the personal shoppers couldn't get it in the stores anymore because it was all sold out for the card holder it's such a small item so I want it so I really wanted it to be like a pop of color my bags are already so basic so when it comes to the SLGs I would really prefer it to be something different and something that not everyone has I don't know if Chanel is going to be releasing nicer colors this year if they do then I might consider those other colors but for now the purple the Tiffany blue uh, those were just like I really really wanted those um, but yeah I can't find them anymore I guess our only hope right now is for Chanel to release a new season with those similar colors because obviously they're not gonna do the same thing like two seasons in a row so yeah those are my wish list items for this year let me know what your wish list items are by commenting them down below and we can have a chat about them i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you did please hit that like button down below to help the youtube algorithm and follow me on instagram at trishdlf i'll see you in my next video bye